Hey everyone, this is Three Questions with Richard, Scott, and Jessica. Yeah, Richard's moving. I like it. All right. So, hey, this is actually the first time that I've actually had three people on the podcast, and we'll kind of talk in the other podcast on on why uh, the three of you are connected. But I actually appreciate we're you're all from the Southern California. We were talking basketball, you know, a little Kawhi, <laughs> right? A little Kawhi before. See, I got a little Kawhi sound ready to go. Um, <laughs> so, so it is. Uh, it's so uh, awesome to connect with you. And I know that uh, Scott and Jessica are from Roland Unified. And hey, I was at Roland Unified. They're super nice. So I'm going to do the preemptive <laughs> shout out. Hey, I was gonna, I was gonna call for that. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So Roland, hey, everyone from Roland, uh, I, I really enjoyed my time with you all. It was amazing, and you made me feel like a, a million bucks. And so I remember distinctly that day with you. And for so, I feel like Scott and Jessica. I feel like I, I know you. I feel like we met that day. I don't know if we did. We, I have we no probably clue. watched the stage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you killed uh, it, man. Now, you now, killed you're making, it. now you're making fun of me. Okay. I no, <laughs> no, no, no. You killed right. it. You, you inspired all of us. Absolutely. All right. Hey, I got one for that, too. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. <laughs> I got that one, too. I got all the TikTok sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I told you. all right so hey we're gonna we're gonna do three questions and so we talked before and we're gonna kind of split them up so richard uh we're gonna start with you and you actually we're gonna talk more about your book uh building the world's greatest high school which is not high school specific and you even told me you'd go back and uh and, and and rechange the title because of how applicable it is to all schools in the world and we're gonna talk more about that uh in the other podcast but we're gonna start with the first question um when you think about a teacher who inspired you you know in your career maybe as a student who's someone you think of and why um the person that probably had the greatest impact on me was my college baseball coach john scalinas um i know that scott's a wooden guy and um hmm. and 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 <laughs> i know you are as well george um but uh, john scalinas didn't necessarily get the press that um Wooden did, but he was the same type of man, very simple man, but um, had a great impact on others and people would follow him. Um, probably uh, who I am today is, is because of him and the interaction that I had and the beliefs he instilled, a uh, strong person of fundamentals, strong person of faith. And um, not only had he impacted me, but uh, the players, that played for him as well. And it was more about not necessarily the game, but what we learned is that um, it's more important what you do outside of the lines than inside of the lines. And that, that's, and John's, I don't know, John's cleanest. Is he, is he still with us today? Do no, you? he's not. No, he's not. So John, you know, in, you, this is a little like the impact <laughs> you have lives on. Obviously, in, in others, which is, you know, really fundamental is actually something you said. I, I actually just wrote about this. Uh, and because of a teacher, my football coach uh, really instilled in me something that you just said. And I think, you know, when we talk like we often talk about teachers, and I really appreciate you sharing because of the impact so many coaches have had on us. He said the idea of like, I, I remember just wanting to like be the captain of the team and thinking like I actually deserve to be captain because I have put in the years. Mm -hmm. Right. And he was new to the school. And he's like, well, that's not how this works, right? Like, you have to be someone worthy of following. You can be ready to lead all you want. But if you're not actually worthy of following. And that was something that instilled in me. And when I actually coached, I would say to my team every year, I'm like, look, there's only one team who's going to win the championship. We're going to strive for that. That's the goal. But if only if, if we measure success based on that, we're, we're likely to fail. But if we measure success on how we, you know, are to one another, how we treat other people, you know, how we, so I just, I really appreciate that. So, and, and it's kind of amazing to, to see that impact because I know um, the two administrators that we have in front of us, you know, have that impact and, and as many people in, in Roland Unified actually do. So Jessica, I'm going to actually go to you. You are brand, brand new AP. How's that going so far, by the way? Um, it's as steep a learning curve as I expected it to be probably a little bit more. Um, yeah. So every day, every day's new. Um, 
I've always been somewhat of a night owl. And these days I just crash at like 830 just right. done. Oh, so that's, yeah, that's absolutely. Good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. It, it, I think I think it's a little bit a little bit like you're probably like teacher tired on a Friday, but every day now because it's like, hey, you're going to be AP during COVID. <laughs> it's just like it's see how many like, obstacles, right, we can put in front of you. Definitely an interesting year to start this journey. Yeah. And so, hey, and so Jessica, I know I and I, I told her I told her you can't say Scott because she works with Scott as the principal. So she totally wanted to. <laughs> You know, I give them a hard time. I, I absolutely. I know you do. Yeah. Um, so my question. So your, your question is like, when you think of all the administrators that you've, you know, you know, had connections with that you've learned from over the years, who's someone that stood out to you and why? Um, it would definitely be my administrator, my principal, uh, the first year I started teaching. Um, so I remember, I, I remember down to specific minutes in the in the first interview um, when I was applying. You know, first year teacher, super super nervous. Um, but the principal's name is Frank Chang, and he has served as my mentor, my guide, everything for the last how many years? Um, there was just something. In, in the in the way he prioritized things, um, I just felt like. He saw mm -hmm. all of my strengths and, um, and, and, you know, just kind of reminded me constantly that, um, that I had to keep my eye on the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. And so it, it was, you feel, you feel seen when you're in front of him. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. You feel valued. Um, and he, gosh, he, he was just, he's the, the name that stands out constantly. I'm always reminded of the way Frank did things, the way Frank ran his school um everyone mattered there well i hope frank do you still talk to frank i do is he in roland as well um he was in roland and he is in a just a nearby district now okay frank if you are listening <laughs> so that actually you know i i already know this this is what's happening right now people are listening to this podcast and like Seriously, that happened in her first year. Like, it took me about like three principles before I felt something like that. Right? <laughs> but let's be honest. Like a lot, you know, a lot of people feel that. I and I actually, um, I was blessed to have an amazing principal. Um, you know, later on in my career, but I, you know, as I look back, it's like I think part of it too. And this is, you know, kind of speaks to like you know Frank's impact, and you know, obviously the impact that you you both are having as well at your school is that I always try to look back and say like hey you know what this principal they did this amazing thing for me they did this amazing thing for me but sometimes when you're in that moment you're like well you know i didn't get this this and this right but then you kind of look back you're like hey you know they all had you know different impact on me so um for anyone listening to you i think it just like frank did for you i know this is going to be maybe a little controversial we have to do that sometimes with our administrators because we can always pick apart the things that they do wrong and you know you know, a lot of times teachers say, well, principal doesn't understand my job because I haven't been in the classroom anymore. I'm like, well, maybe you don't understand the admin job totally because you haven't done it. So like really, if you really think of it. So, you know, as much as we want administrators to look for strengths in us, we got to do that, you know, for the people as well. And so I, I'm going to say before I get into uh, the connection, uh, you know, to Scott's answer here, uh, watching you too, I actually really reminds me of when I first became assistant principal. Uh, my partner, his name was Archie Lillico and Archie, if you are listening, you get one of those too. So that's right. Scott, you love that button. Hey, <laughs> you know what? I, 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 that, that button, you that one. Really you want one. You want one of these. Okay. I got this. So, so Archie, Archie, actually, I kind of feel like I, I can feel the respect you have for each other, but it's playful and you, I can, I love it. It makes me feel good because Archie and I would like rib each other all the time, but we always had each other's backs. So I can feel that uh, when talking to you too. So uh, Scott, you you look back at your career, um, you look back on the impact that you've had on so many. So if you could go back to your first year of teaching and look back, and I always say this, right? If you don't look back with a little bit of embarrassment, you're probably not very good right now, right? So, so if you look back on your first year of teaching, what advice would you give to yourself? So I appreciate the embarrassment comment because we talk about that all the time. Right. 
And I'm like super embarrassed what I did yesterday. So thank you for <laughs> mentioning that because we want to continue to be embarrassed. Right. And I think um, we do a great job of calling each other out on being a bit when we're embarrassed. But um, if I can go back to that first yourself, um, it goes back to exactly what you just said about um, impacting students, um, impacting lives. I would tell that first yourself that there's a ton of power in you. Mm -hmm. um, there's a ton of power that my, um, as I think back, my 24 year old self didn't understand. Um, I didn't know um, how how much power I had and how, how much I'd be able to empower others. Um, I knew that, that relationships mattered. I knew that I wanted to be a positive impact. Um, I'm still in contact with people from my first year as a teacher, from some of my former students. Uh, I, I wish I would have been better for them. Um, I wish I would have um, helped to, to get them to see their greatness probably more than I, than I did. Um, and, and just, and just remind my 24 year old self or tell my 24 year old self that nothing, um, there's nothing that can replace like uh, uh, just a strong work ethic combined with a strong moral compass. Um, and so those, those two things, if I can just um, talk to that, that, that young dummy from 20 years ago, um, you know, I, I think, uh, I think those are the words that I'd give them. So here, here's actually, and I, I think this is a really uh, pertinent point to this, right? If you were that bad that those kids wouldn't talk to you, <laughs> just, <laughs> this is a little heads up. Right? No, I appreciate You're that. Like, man, you sucked. Yeah. We, still want, we still would like to talk to you, right? Yeah. And, no. and, and and this is something I, I really believe in. Even, you know, at sometimes on our worst days, right? And sometimes the days that we make mistakes. Some, you know, when we look back at some of those years, if you if, if you cared about those kids, you'll always have an impact, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see that. There's no way they would still connect with you, right? And I always, I joke about it myself, right? Like, I... I, I I honestly didn't know, like, really, like, I didn't even know where to find the curriculum. I just like, hey, here's a, here's a textbook. So obviously, I'm assuming this covers it. So, yeah. right. And I'm doing that. But like, I still connect with the, many of those students from that class. And they talk about the impact that I had on them. And I think that that's something, you know, that that shares. So because you love it so much, I'm doing this for you. Shout out to Scott. <laughs> no, hey, it was awesome. I am like so pumped to like, to like go jump in uh hear about some of the things that are happening at your school but it was amazing to sit and talk with you uh but everyone thank you for listening to three questions i hope you enjoy it make sure that you'll you'll see scott jessica and richard's uh information in the description down below make sure you connect with them uh obviously wonderful people so thanks for being here today all right have a wonderful day everybody